19 for 250 and two touchdowns. Uh, I thought Felipe played pretty well at times. You know, we got after him. Uh, our guys, I think there are some guys that were excited to hit him, have been waiting for years to hit him, and they got to go hit him a little couple times. But uh, um, I, I think this, I think, you know, that team came in here, you, you watch them, they didn't give up, continued to battle, scored 35 points against us. Uh, you know, I know, so, but, and, uh, uh, you know, one of those, one of those at, at, at the end right there, um, you know, the twos gave up, but, you know, it shows that, that what their program, they're going to continue to battle, continue to fight. We knew that coming in of, you know, what Sam was, I know he couldn't be here tonight, but I know Barry really well, and you, you see the personality that team has. They're going to have toughness and mental toughness to go fight, and that doesn't surprise you when they have Felipe a quarterback, you know, that, that he's able to go in there. Uh, you know, I mean, you don't see a guy that really just shows up on campus as a grad transfer and becomes the team captain. And uh, that just shows the person, you know, the type of character and the person he is, and the success they're having. I think has a lot to do with his leadership. It's kind of a Heisman front run right now. What was that he mean at this point in the season? And how do you explain his loyalty from high school to college? Just explain what he was in the situations he he was. Well, I think I think Kyle shows the character that he has. You know, and it's one of the great learning things. Uh, for people and which is you know in in what he was able to do you know in high school uh he probably, probably could have transferred done something stuck it out with his team and helped his team was really successful got an opportunity to go to college um you know really graduated and could have could have could have been a grad transfer to leaving here um and stuck it out and all of a sudden his number was called and you you see he was completely prepared for the moment his number was called. And from that moment forth, he's done nothing but continue to work even harder to continue to prepare even more. Uh, you know, in today's world, you look at guys, you know, the, the, the transfer portal, like it's not going well, I want to jump in the transfer portal uh, in, in college football. But you look in life, as soon as things don't go well, oh, I, I, want, I, I want to quit, I want to leave, I want to try something new, I want to give up. Uh, instead of, you know what, I'm going to continue to prepare because when my moment comes, I'm going to be ready for that moment. Uh, if that's not one of the greatest life lessons you can ever learn, I don't know what is. Uh, you know, and he should be, I mean, he's, uh, I mean, really is an example for anybody and, and an unbelievable success story of preparing for my moment. And when I got my opportunity, I took full advantage of it. And, and you know, I mean, and, and it just shows. And, I mean, it shows with his performance every single week that he's had during this season. I mean, even all the way back to last year. You're muted, Dennis. And they've been through this before. Is he the front runner around? What does that even mean at this point? Well, I don't know if it's front runner. I don't get a vote. So, um, yeah. you, you, you can say, I, I think you have a vote. So, if you want to say that, that's awesome. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't get one. So, uh, uh, I can't say that. He doesn't have one. So, he don't really, I, it's neither of us have any say on that. So, um, but, but I think this, you know, I mean, we've been around this before. I think, and you know what? He's a mature kid that understands it, you know. Uh, what he's got to do is prepare for Vanderbilt and get ready to have a great game next week. And, uh, you know, anything beyond that is is kind of a colossal waste of time right now, you know, right? I mean, if we'll see. If you, if you want to be involved in those, those awards, I think that the, the more success teams have sometimes, uh, the more individual awards come. And, uh, you know, and so I think uh, – you know, if we keep being successful as a team and keep making plays, he's going to have the opportunity to get individual awards, just like a Kyle Pitts or an, uh, an Evan McPherson. You know, a lot of times with the team success and guys do really well, uh, individual awards come along with those.